What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Big T. What stream is what's your boy Big T King Seeds on this map? Going solo today, doing a little solo thing by myself. But hey, <coughs> here with you to entertain you for a few, 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 few minutes. Just talk about little things going on in the NBA draft. Just uh, was it itself? How did y'all like it? Did y'all love it? What did y'all think about it? Uh, we got a new slay of talent that's geared to happen in the NBA. Can it take over? Oh, what's going on with the Kawhi Leonard uh, trade update today that, that uh, San Antonio Spurs say they would not trade Kawhi to a Western team that given him, they were shifting to the East before they do anything. They put a burden on what is he a superstar enough that gets what he wants? And I understand where um, they just asked him to, you know, they want him to stay. He's a franchise of that team. He is the number one go-to guy of that team. But he wants to get out of San Antonio. He wants to go to L.A. He's home. It's his home. It's where he wants to be. I prefer. I think he should get a chance to go there and, and play with a superstar of um, talent, of um, Paul Jones, and things like that. So, but we'll see. We're going to get going in a second. And, hey, J Real Hip Hop Show, Sunday nights, 8 o'clock. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy J Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. Check the show out at the Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker, Extreme Radio. If you want your music played on the Real Hip Hop Show, send your music in MP3 form to the Real Hip Hop Show at yahoo.com. Check us out. The Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker and Stream Radio. Let's go. Yeah, that is the Wizard J Real Hip Hop Show. will be on 7 next 8 o'clock. Spreaker.com slash you slash B I G T T Y M M 72. With your boy J Real from the J Real Hip Hop Show. It's Stream Radio, baby. Let's go. Like I said, uh, we talk about Kawhi a little thing, and we talk about we talk about James Bush thing in, in a second. But you know, what do y'all think? The caliber, the setup is looking like, hey, go to LA, uh, team up with Paul George and um, maybe Paul George and maybe uh, LeBron. So um, the setup can be played to to have a competitive team against Golden State. And had a competitive team against Houston. Can Houston get another piece also to be the competitive team? Because they had a great year. Maybe Chris, uh, one win for Chris Paul getting hurt that he wasn't there last year uh, from the last game to play against Golden State. Could have won that game because, hey, let's face it, Houston had him on the ropes. So, hey, we'll see. Um. But, hey, like I said, he, San Antonio said that they did not trade him to the Western Conference team. So, he got to go to the East, or they got to bring a great deal for San Antonio to do that. But we'll see. Um, but I would love to see, you know, um, you know, I'm an L.A. fan, you know, not just saying that. It just be, it would be very, very interesting to see. Um, Kawhi, Paul George, and LeBron play together against them. Mm -hmm. Clay Thompson, uh, Green, and things like that. Now, and as another rumor, the you know Brooklyn buying Dwight Howard contract out. It's a rumor that he might go to Golden State. Hey, that can be very interesting for Golden State also. And what I've been saying a lot for a long time, Golden State need a big man. But, you know, C's have put in, you know, how they, they're running a gun team, and I look at that. Now, Dwight Howard will fit that, that uh, experience for being a running gun team that can put him, them in that space of uh, he can run up the court, get rebounds, throw it out, get healthy. He, he got a great body. He can be that guy, put Jamel McGee behind him. Wow. wow. I'm just saying it would fit perfectly from what they need and what they got now with the shooters of Steph and Clay. Uh, Kevin Durant could be one of the greatest players of all time, also, and I will put him up there. Yeah, I said it with Baby Ron Ron to take over because hey, Kevin Durant one of the best players, and you see that in from the ages. The ages you look at Mike, um, Mike. You mean, I mean the ages you look Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, one of the greatest.
greatest players. Uh, the 90s was like, um, you know, Joe Dumars was out there. Isaiah Thomas was out there. Uh, David Robinson was out there. Shaq would be just coming in the picture. Penny Hardaway. And people forget about Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway was one of the best shooters out there. Now you look at 2000, Kobe, uh, Vince Carter, I, uh, uh, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, and stuff like that. That era was great and terrific. So, hey, why not be excited about, about what the things to come about this NBA, you know, the NBA players, and somebody can compete with LeBron. I think if LeBron stays to the East, I'm loving Philly. But the Eastern Conference, my thing is the Eastern Conference need to build and bring players back to be competitive against the West. The players, you know, it is too one-sided to me. And I, like I said, before being a Lakers fan, I would love to see, and I hate to be, I had to become a baby Brown Brown fan. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, I would have to become a baby Brown Brown fan if we go to L.A. Yeah, I see it. You know, I have to admit it. I would have to become a fan. But at the same time, I think the East need to build something. I think Philly is building something great. I think um, and that will leave Cleveland, if Ron leave, that will leave um, the Phillies for being that team of the future and nobody else. So we'll see what happens. But Philly got a great, I think, like I said, Ben Simmons coming up. If he can find his shot, if he can find that, that, that significant shot, I think he could be up there of a caliber of a Magic Johnson to Kobe Bryant. I think he's that good of a player and what he can be. So we will see what happens there. So I, I really think Philly is a great team up and coming. I do think they're missing a piece, but at the same time, we'll see what happens. Um, let's take a quick commercial break. Sports Connection 4, Saturday, it's 2 o'clock. Basketball. Football, soccer, college, pros, high school, all of the good sports news will be brought to you by none other than Sports Connection 4 with your host, LC, co-host, KD, Al, and Pete. Stay tuned to Spreaker.com on Saturdays at 2 p.m. if you want to hear all about the Sports Nation. Again, stay tuned on Saturdays at 2 p.m. if you want to hear all about the Sports Nation. You can hear us on Spreaker.com, iHeart, SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, and YouTube. Again, Saturday, 2 p.m. Spreaker.com will be none other than Sports Connection 4. All right, that's Sports Connection 4. Uh, Charles and the boys, they're going to have a new look. That's why y'all that haven't really heard a little bit from them right now. But it's, they still gonna have a tremendous show that we're going to build for you and give you all the updates of the Sports Nation. And, hey, like I said, and, and they're going to be bringing you a new look. We very, very, very soon Sports Commission for will be back Saturdays at 2 o'clock. If you missed it and y'all you become a fan of the show, we apologize for the you know the inconvenience of hey, you started something you just gotta build from the ground up. And when you build it from the ground up, you gonna be successful or you keep going with it. And this is gonna be a very successful show. Trust me on it. And please don't um just just stay tuned for it because they are a great, great team and what they building is very, very, very interesting. So uh, like I said, you know, all of us, you know, here at Stream Radio, building something, just keep liking and sharing, 
keep connecting with us, keep giving us your opinion, and we will, you know, listen and progress every step of the way. Now, like I said, we were talking about, uh, let's get on the James Winston story. Uh, early this week, he had another incident that, um, um, that he's grouped the Uber driver, uh, and he's uh, suspended for three games. The young man is very talented. I think I got into it with this guy uh, not too long ago, and it wasn't no big, real big thing. He just feel like I won't give him no props, and I'm, I'm not. It's not the point of I'm not giving him props. I always said I think the guy has a a, a issue. I really, really think he really has an issue. Uh, I don't want to say mental issue, but you look at the things that he's done and over, you know, the course of his career, even in college, of being um, that player, you know, the the the, the uh, rape charge against him, um, gladly, you know, luckily thrown out. Um, the, the story incident still in, um, still in, I think it was crab seafood, one of what, that incident, um, uh, the school incident, um, talking about that, and, you know, now this, I really think the kid has a problem, and I just feel like leadership around him, I, I really don't know what's going on with him, and people don't look at that and say, hey, maybe that is an issue. The guy really has a mental issue. I, I keep saying that I really, really truly feel that. I think the guy is very talented. He's a, he can be a great leader, but and I love his ambition, but at the same time, he can be too out there. He needs to step back and bring himself back to reality of being that, that player of football. I think he put himself too out there all the time, and that's why I criticize him about a lot of things. But hey, we will see. Hopefully, he will get it together. We will see. But hopefully, he, like I said, he will get it together very soon. Also, um, like I said, football season two months away. With you know what's going on with that, and hopefully, he, you know, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, they, they. They the year before they didn't do too good last year. Year before they was in their competitive gear to make it to the playoffs. Now see what let's see what happens this year. So hey, we about to see. Um my Washington Redskins and uh, what I'm hearing the great talk is about Alex Smith right here in, in DC is being is going great. But hey, we're gonna talk about it in one quick second. That boy Big T, Stream Radio, let's go. This is Big T from Extreme Sports with your boy Big T and King C's. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays on Spreaker.com slash Extreme Radio. Also, you can catch us with Big T, King C's, Marvelous Matt, on Spreaker.com slash Extreme Radio with your boy Big T here. We can bring you all the entertainment, sports, news, updates, entertainment, group discussions, anything we go in, we want to talk about. Like and share. Hit your boys up on the stream with your group page, facebook.com. Hey, your boy Big T here. Hit me up, tymm72 at gmail.com or tymm72 at yahoo.com. What's your boy Big T from Extreme Radio? Hey, that was that guy Big T with here at Extreme Radio. Uh, Extreme Sports with your boy Big T King C. He's my Matt. Hey, uh, appreciate y'all joining me. Uh, thank you for just supporting the show again. Thank you to my boys, King C's, Marvis Matt. We're doing our thing. Keep up the good work. Pushing it every week. Uh, doing, you know, we're going we to bring you something every single week. And like I said, when guys, hopefully we get new guys joining. We got some new guys coming in. 
And hey, we're building this thing more and more each day. So hey, thank y'all for doing this. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank y'all for doing everything around us. And hey, let's keep it up. Now, back to business as at hand. Um, I want to go back to the core before I jump on the Alistair thing. Go to the quality thing again. And Bruce Warren uh, today said that he think it's an excuse that um, Kawhi is not, um, he, he's not doing the necessary things he needs to do um, to be with the team. But hey, here's Bruce Warren and his opinion about it. About that. There's nothing but excuses going on. So first, it was well, I was misdiagnosed. Look, look here, you're you you, you got 18 million dollars this year, and and you think that they're trying to rush you? You didn't play for the most part a, a full season this year, and you're the go-to guy. You're the franchise. If you want to say that they didn't have your best interest at heart, are you kidding me? Not one time has Kawhi come out and said anything to the effect of. You know what? Hey, I really enjoy being in San Antonio, or I can't stand what's going on here in San Antonio. Not one time has he said anything. Do you feel like you have to live up to? All right, that was Bruce Warren on ESPN uh, today, uh, talking about Bruce, uh, talking about uh, Kawhi Leonard, and he had uh, step up. You know, really, what what really is going on with that situation? And that's the point about you. Tony Parker called him out. And I think that bothered him so to the effect of that, you know, he he won out and uh, he didn't play. It was it was to me it was a minor injury, but he said he was rushed and things like that. It's something going on more than meets the eye, Transformers. But <laughs> but it's something going on more than meets the eye of that situation. It's more going on with uh, Pop. And Kawhi, uh, Tony Parker, and Kawhi is just something really deep that we're not, we don't know about. And really, you know, we, hey, I, I just think I just don't understand because he is the key piece. He probably would what two years ago. He probably gave uh, Golden State their uh, second championship. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, because going in, they were being going to sit by 22 points, 26 points. When he got hurt, everything changed. And he played nine games last year and really haven't. Maybe I think he's sitting there. People think that. I think Stephen A. Smith said yesterday on first take, and I will agree with him, that he sighed out. Maybe he sighed out on purpose because he don't want to be there no more. And you know they're not gonna give him his choice. And I, do, that's the question I got. Do you feel like players should have a choice of where they go? If they ask to go to a certain team, should they go to that certain team? Because he's asking him to go to L.A. All right. Um, now I don't know about Kyrie's situation. situation. Uh, Kyrie, he didn't want to work it out with Cleveland. Um, but then look, you find out LeBron was. He won't happy about then give a trade to him, but it was about you that he wanted to get traded. He want, I guess, he wanted to make a mistake. <coughs> but at the same time, are we, um, you know, if this certain player wants to go to a certain team, should he have be able to go do that? And that's the question on my ass. Should he be able to go anywhere he need, he wants to go without? Is it being a such of a big deal about it? But man, I'm gonna put that on our extreme radio group page. Hey, and check our page out, man. And just you know, check our page out. Join the discussion. Tell us what you want to hear. Tell us what we you if you want think you want us to talk about more things. Hey, tell us. We will we will get there and we'll do our best to accommodate you every which way we can to do more for these shows and do you know give you what you want and what you need to hear so hey we're gonna see you know a lot of stuff we got a lot of stuff i'm gonna start talking about 
I want to bring the MMA in this conversation, baseball more, and things like that. So, hey, you know, check us out. You know, that's Stream Radio. That's Stream Sports with the boy Big T, King Season on his back. All right here on com slash user slash B-I-G-G-T-Y-M-M-72. Right here on com. Like I said, um, going back to the NFL real quick. Um, and like again, thank you for having us for another day. Um, love, love the Alex Smith thing, what I'm hearing about Washington, and um, I know we ain't got another field yet, but the, the leadership, what I'm hearing is so great and terrific right now, and that you know how why they what they're doing, they're pushing for, and he, he's showing the leadership of what the skins need. And he's not trying to do too much. He's not trying to, you know, he's just giving these guys leadership. Something that Kirk Cousin couldn't do. Like I said, uh, guys be asking me all the time for the Norman Skins fan. You know, y'all got rid of Kirk Cousins. I, I would have never done that. It was the part that we've done. Kirk didn't want to be there. And I say, why, no, why keep a man there that he was not want? He never wants to be there. He wanted to be somewhere else. He didn't want to be in Washington. Like I said, he, he made it sound good that he, he wanted to be there. Yeah, but you never got to the side of the contract. You see, you would never do it while our, um, our Bruce Allen was there. I believe that because uh, you didn't do it. Um, you never want to be behind RG3. And no disrespect to that. He just, it's something he just didn't want to do. So, hey, we can see. You know, hopefully he will have a great future in Minnesota. I think he's a ter- tremendous quarterback. He got it. But when they, you got that, uh, you, you you like that movement came, it was something to build on. Don't y'all remember that? It was something to build on, and he couldn't catch it. There was like on a five or six game winning streak, and you couldn't catch You went into the playoffs, and you should have went in there with your head just boom. Just gone and just flowing from there, and you couldn't do that. I can't. I couldn't believe it. So, um, but he's in Minnesota. Al Smith in Washington. Uh, the running back core. I think. Well, I know we had to lose one or two running backs. We'll see what happens. But hey, it, it's there. Um, so, uh, what y'all think about the NBA draft? So Sexton, good kid from Alabama, went to uh, Cleveland. Knox got booed from Kentucky. He went to uh, New York. Uh, the kid, number one pick, was in the Arrington. I got to remember his name. I'm sorry. I, what he did. I think it's Arrington. So let me, let me make sure I'm right. Right, quick. So I um, yeah, just want to make sure I'm right. Make sure I got his name right. I know he went to Phoenix. Uh, Bagley Barkley went to Dick from Dick. He went to um, Sacramento. So okay, let's see what they got. So. Uh, it is, people say do players. What? Why? I think uh, Edo asked me why do players get so disrespected in the draft? I don't think they get disrespected because he think Bagley should have been number one over the kid from Arizona. Yeah, and I can agree that the kid got skills, but the kid from Arizona really got some skills too. He got the upsides. They about the same upsides, but he's taller. He's a center. Uh, Bagley is a power forward. So, hey, that's why I think he got more the upside of uh, having the chance to play, um, you know, going number one. He went number two. So, hey, I, I think Sacramento got a bright future. I think Phoenix, what they got now, got a bright future. They built some young talent. And Brooks Jackson and the kid from Arizona. Sacramento got some young talent with Justin Jackson, Fox, uh, Bagley from um, 
Then, so it's some young talent here. So that, what can you build from? So go for that. I hope they can build from it. I hope they can be it'll be the one of you know, you know, they could be the next Jordan Kobe. I think uh like Tatum. Tatum was I, I called Tatum when I saw it this year when he got drafted. Tatum was a tremendous talent. And he built from there. And he got better and better and better from Boston. I don't like the big players, but I would give them their credit if they got it and they Tatum had it. I think Vegas got it. I think he can build from it. Uh, the kid from Arizona, I think he got it. Let's see what they can do with it. And hopefully, that can build to a very something very, very special for this their team. And I think this, you got to fight. Right but I think this draft class was kind of weak, in my opinion. I think Bagley, uh, Bagley and kid from Arizona, kid from um, Texas, and um, really that's it. That go, you know, show me something. Everybody else, I just think it's up in the air. We'll see. So, see what the Bulls can do. You know. And the Bulls got uh, uh, Wendell Carter Jr. I think I call his name right from Duke. They see what he, they can do with him. Uh, they rebuilding. So, hey, a lot of, you know, things going on in the NBA. And uh, we'll see. Uh, this just was a little slight show, a little show today. Um, catch us tomorrow night. Blog Talk Radio, Radio AFS. What's your boy, Big T. King sees him on this mat. Um, and catch us every week. Blog Talk Radio, Sunday nights, 9 o'clock. Catch your boy at Stream Radio, Spreaker.com slash user slash V I G T Y M 72 at yeah. Hey, hey, hit me. I mean, I'm Spreaker.com, but hit me up, T Y M 72 at yahoo.com. Any comments, questions, or things you got for it. I appreciate the support and what y'all doing with your shout out to Stream Radio T. Keep doing y'all thing, and we will see y'all next week, tomorrow night, on Spreaker.com.